Hello and welcome to our fourth class of the Pelvic Floor Focus Series. This class is a yang class for deep core engagement. So let's begin today in our child's pose at the bottom of the mat, bringing the big toes together, leaving some space between the knees as you begin to walk the hands forward, allowing the chest and forehead to reach towards the mat. Take a deep inhale into the belly. And as you exhale, see if maybe you can reach those fingertips a little bit further toward the end of the mat. Begin to settle in here, taking a few slow and controlled breaths. As you check in with yourself, just noticing how you're feeling before we get started today. And with your next exhale, let's begin to round through the spine, rolling forward, allowing the hips to drop forward. Then exhale, lead with the hips as you begin to round back into child's pose. Again like this, inhale, rounding forward, coming all the way through into our up dog this time. Then let's drop the hips toward the left as we look over the right shoulder. Good release and switching sides now. Returning to center and then exhale, rounding back down to child's pose again. And this time, with your next exhale, begin to circle the body to the left. So again, we are doing this child's pose, up dog sort of combo here. Just making the circle as big or as small as feels right for your body. And then go ahead and switch directions, taking it the other way. Just beginning to wake up the spine, the side body. And then let's settle back into our child's pose once more. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, come through to tabletop again. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees as you lead with the hips, beginning to press back into down dog. Keeping the knees bent here if you need to. So making sure that we have a straight line with the back, that we aren't curved through the back in order to straighten the legs. It's better to keep the knees a little bent here. Then you can begin to drop the heels toward the mat as the body begins to release. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, begin to reach for the left leg with the right hand, maybe grabbing the ankle or further up the leg, taking our twisted down dog here. So trying to keep those hips square to the front of the mat still, We're twisting at the belly button. Take a deep inhale, using that breath to expand through the intercostal muscles. And exhale fully and slowly, returning to down dog now. And then taking it to the other side, left hand reaching for the right ankle or calf now. Again, it's okay if those knees are a little bent here still. Just meet yourself where you're at. Take one more deep inhale. Let it go, exhaling fully, all the air leaving the lungs. And then return back to down dog. Reset with an inhale. As you exhale, begin to round forward, coming into plank. Exhale, chaturanga, or for knees, chin, chest. Inhale to up dog. And exhale as you press your way back to down dog once again. Take a deep inhale to reset here. Bend the knees, look forward as you exhale, hop to the front of the mat, landing with the feet at the edges of the mat, turning the toes out slightly. And then we're just going to sink down into our yogic squat here. Take an inhale. And exhale, fully and slowly. Just a couple more breaths here. Be sure to sit on a block or a prop if you need a little extra support. Inhale, and exhale. Now place the left arm inside the left thigh and extend the right arm up and over to the side, stretching the side body, chest opening up and out toward the sky. 
Take a deep breath in and let it go. One more inhale and exhale, release. Switching sides now, left arm reaching overhead to the right, chest opening up toward the sky. Enjoying this moment here. And exhale, releasing the arm now, planting the hands on the mat. Begin to heel toe the feet closer together again. And with bent knees, begin to roll up to standing, taking your time. Inhale, reaching the arms overhead. And exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. One more time, inhaling, sweeping the arms up overhead. And exhale, dive it down to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, coming into our chair pose. Now here is the first time in this practice I want to really emphasize our alignment and engagement here. So make sure that you are strong through the low core that that belly button is pulling into the spine. So we aren't sucking in as if we are trying to show our ribs, but it's sucking in like the very low belly area, the lifting of our pelvic floor. So we have this flat alignment through the low back here. We don't have this arch with the hips tilting forward. Hold it, arms extending, holding strong here. Then with your next inhale, begin to stand up, hands coming to prayer heart center, glutes engaged as you tuck the hips. Exhale, extending the arms, sinking back down into chair, tucking the hips, belly button into the spine. Again, inhale, standing, hands to prayer for three. And exhale, squat, core engaged. Inhale, standing, arms to prayer. Exhale, extending the arms, sitting back down. Inhale, standing, hands to prayer. And exhale, squatting back down. Everything tight, alignment, form here. Inhale, stand. Exhale, squat. Two more like this. Inhale, standing, hands coming to prayer. Glutes engaged. And then exhale, sinking to back down to chair. Hips tucked under. Inhale, standing tall, shoulder blades down and back. And exhale, extending the arms, holding your chair pose once again now. Breathing deeply, staying connected to that breath. Exhale, hands to prayer heart center. And begin to twist to the left now, right elbow coming over the left knee. Hips staying square to the front of the mat. If you're having trouble with your balance, you can always look down toward the floor instead of up. Go ahead and release back to center now. Reaching the arms up, shoulder blades are resting down and back. Hips are tucked, belly button pulling into the spine, holding this chair pose again. And then give me a few more chair squats, moving at your own pace this time. Inhaling as you stand up with the hands coming to prayer heart center. Exhale, sinking down to chair, making sure you're tucking those hips using strong form here, good alignment. We don't want to practice bad habits. We're almost there, give me just a couple more. And then find your way, landing back in chair again. Find your balance, then bring the hands back to prayer at heart center. Take an inhale. As you exhale, this time twist to the right, left elbow, making contact with the left knee. As you twist at the belly button, hips remaining square to the front of the mat. Gaze looking up toward the sky. 
or maybe down if you need a little extra help with your balance. Continue to breathe here, allowing fresh oxygen to come into the body, to come into the digestive organs. And then exhale, releasing from that compression, returning back to center, and extending the arms overhead once more. And when you're ready, begin giving me some more chair squats, standing up as you inhale, hands to prayer at heart center, tucking the hips, engaging the glutes, and exhaling as you sink back to chair, arms extending overhead, drawing the shoulder blades down and back. The hips are tucked under, belly button is pulling into the spine. Just a little bit longer here, you got this. Don't forget to breathe. Finish up the squat you are on, and then meet me in our chair pose. Then as you exhale, allow the hands to come to the mat. Bend the knees as you slowly roll up, arms reaching overhead as you inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Again, inhale, sweeping the arms overhead, maybe taking a slight back bend. Then exhale, diving it down to forward fold. Inhale for halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Enjoying this forward fold for just a moment. Inhale for halfway lift. Then plant the hands, step or hop back into plank. Exhale into chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog. And then exhale, bend the knees, lead with the hips as you press your way back into down dog again. Take an inhale. And exhale, let it go. Enjoying this stillness here for a moment. Take another inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and round forward, coming down into your tabletop so we can make sure that the shoulders are aligned above the wrists and the hips just above the knees. Then we're going to tuck the toes, lift the knees, just hovering here. This is our bear pose. So again, as we're here, we want to make sure that we don't have an arch in the low back, that the hips aren't tilted. We're thinking about pulling that low belly in, that pelvic floor up and in, tightening, engaging those deep core muscles. Then from here, while keeping the legs exactly the same, the only thing we're going to do is press through the arms as if we're pressing back to down dog, but keeping the knees bent. Then inhale as we come forward, just hovering the knees above the mat, not touching them down. Exhale, pressing back toward down dog. Continuing like this at your own speed, moving with control, with power. You've got it. Continue to breathe. Use that breath. Good, and then let's finish pressing back into down dog. Beginning to extend those legs now, dropping the heels toward the mat if you can. Then bend the knees, look forward, and as you exhale, hop toward the front of the mat, landing on your glutes, extending the legs to our boat pose, arms at the sides, trying to keep both the arms and the lower legs parallel to the mat here. Hold it, hold it, hold it, engaging those deep core muscles. Now begin just pulsing the arms up and down, using control here. If you fall out, just coming back into this pose. This is really hard with the arms up. You can even rest the fingertips gently on the mat to give you a little extra support, focusing on just lifting those legs. Good, and then let's slowly begin to extend the body down to the floor now. Let's plant the feet preparing to take some bridges. So first we're going to focus on just the pelvic tilt, focusing on flattening our low back to the mat as we draw the belly button into the spine, and then release, just relaxing, simply noticing how we can tilt our pelvis here as we engage those deep core muscles. 
And then we're going to begin with this movement, tilting the hips, engaging the core, and then lifting, engaging the glutes as we go into our bridge. So we are not engaging our low back here, but the glute muscles are engaging. Arms can be at your side, or maybe interlace the hands beneath the back under you. But be sure here that your hips aren't breaking even, that we aren't getting that arch through the back. Again, we're keeping everything tight, aligned. The form and engagement is our focus here. Hold it for just a little bit longer. Using that breath, staying focused, staying present. Then exhale, release the hands if they're interlaced and begin to roll the spine back down one vertebrae at a time. All right, now staying on our back, we are going to bring the right elbow over the left elbow and then see if you can bring the wrists around, getting those palms together as well. And then we're going to bring the left leg over the right leg. Also trying to get that foot around the ankle if you can too. So we have our eagle arms and legs here. And then we're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, begin to crunch, bringing the elbows towards the knees or beyond the knees, compressing through the core here. And then exhale, lowering back down. As you begin to crunch, first thinking about using that pelvic tilt, bringing the knees up, bringing the elbows up and extending back down a few more times, moving at your own speed here. Being intentional with this movement, not moving for speed, but moving with strength. Almost there, keep going. Good, and release, coming onto your back again. And now we're simply gonna switch which arm and which elbow is on top. So if your left knee was on top this time, now your right knee is. And if your right elbow was, now your left elbow is. Then let's begin crunching. Starting with that pelvic tilt, pulling the belly button into the spine and compressing through the core as the knees come to the elbow. Inhaling as we lower, as the body opens. Exhaling as we compress. Use that breath, stay connected to it. We only have about 15 seconds left. Keep going. We are almost there. Good, and release. Untwisting the body now and finding your way onto your back for a final Shavasana. Gently tucking the shoulder blades down and back. Arms resting at the sides, palms facing up. And begin to feel the echo of this practice. Any shifts that have occurred physically, mentally, or emotionally. Just being aware of how what we do affects us in many different ways. Scan through the body once more. Notice any areas still holding on to tension. And as you exhale, see if you can release that. Imagining the body sinking another centimeter into the mat beneath you. Inhale, relaxation. And exhale, surrender.
Feel free to stay in your Shavasana even longer today if you wish. But if you're ready to finish with me and move on with your day, then with your next exhale, gently turn over onto your right side and meet me seated for a final closing breath together. Inhale, reaching the arms overhead, stretching tall. And exhale, hands to prayer, heart center. Taking a moment to acknowledge yourself with gratitude for taking the time to honor your mind and body in this way today. Thank you so much for practicing with me and for following along for this pelvic floor focus series. If you missed the earlier classes of the series and would like to do them, you can find those on my channel page and there will be a playlist specifically for this series. If you enjoyed this class, would you please do me a huge favor and be sure to give this video a like as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, subscribing and liking are two of the best and easiest ways to help support this channel and expand my reach so that I can continue creating free content for you all. If you wish to support this channel further and would like to consider being a patron, I now have membership options available, which offer some small perks, but are really to help support this channel and keep it alive as I continue to grow my community on this space. Thank you again for choosing to join me for this practice. And thank you so much for whichever ways you show support to me and this channel. I hope you enjoyed this class and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you soon, my friends. Namaste.